Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? It's February the 2nd, Friday, about 9pm, and this coin was heavily requested, so I'm actually going to add it to my watch list for you guys here, okay? I'm going to add this one to my watch list. I want to be very clear that I will not be day trading or even holding any positions for POET here. So I was asked to take a look at POET. Uh, it's a very popular coin right now. But I just want to make that very clear first. And if you guys enjoy these videos and you appreciate these updates, please head over to Steemit, click on the link below, and just give me a quick upvote. And other than that, make sure you like and subscribe, and also share these videos of mine if you feel I'm doing a fantastic job for the cryptocurrency community. And if you especially think I'm doing an awesome job, you're welcome to buy me a beer and Luna as well. But don't ever go out of your way, guys. Please don't ever feel obligated. Some people just like to buy other people a drink because you know what? It's just a way of saying thanks. That's that's it. And uh, people ask me to say that at the end of the video and to leave my address, so there it is. So but anyways guys, let's get into this. Poet has five beautiful waves, okay? We're talking about the most five beautiful waves that I have seen. This coin's kind of under the radar right now from what I can tell, okay? It's only six cents right now, $133 market cap. This is Poet, P-O-E by the way. It's trading at about $8.6 million. Market is a majority of it is on Binance there and a little bit on OKX, but not really actually nothing on OKX. Who am I kidding? Historical data here. Okay, we're going to take a look at the volume right now. There's about eight million dollars. Okay Eight million dollars and a few days ago guys. We were trading at some heavy volume. Okay, we're talking like 49 million 25 million and now the volumes kind of dying off right now So the market is not really getting nearly as interested and we also see the market cap completely drop from two hundred thirty-two thousand dollars to one hundred sixty, which is um, which is literally two thirds of, of the market cap, right? It, it lost thirty-three percent of its market cap within a few days. So you guys need to really be worried about that right now as well, okay? Now, even though it did make five beautiful waves here, like five very very beautiful waves right this structure to me is more like uh it's bearish to me i have to admit it because the volume is dying off guys and because the volume is dying off i just cannot see this as very bullish right now and another thing that i see is that um it actually broke right here okay it broke right here which actually worries me a little bit now i'm not saying it's going to downtrend entirely but what i am seeing is that there's a possibility for it to go down a little bit further, all right? So that's how I'm seeing this right now. I'm seeing that as something like this, okay? The RSI, and I'm seeing something like that a little bit right now. Unfortunately, I don't want to say that, but of course I do see it. But realistically, it'll be more like something like this, like in a wedge and then break out, okay? But because it fell down, out of, it broke through the support RSI on the daily, I cannot help but think that there's no more relevant types of supports here, right? Look at right here, for example, okay? This was a support, right? This was a support, came right through it, tried to break up past this resistance now, but it couldn't, and it came back down. So you got to think of RSI as support and resistances as well on a more intermediate to advanced level. So, because I see the RSI breaking, like, I do see it trending down a little bit more, guys. I don't, I do think the triangle will hold, okay? But it's going to play its way. It might come down. When I say the RSI come down, I'm talking about come down to this line, okay? And that's a very it's a small amount, but nevertheless, it's, it's going to most likely conform to this trend line and most likely finish a pattern. We're talking about another 14% drop or so, okay? So what I would recommend for people to basically do is play the breakout on here. What we see is that even though the volume is slowly dying off and the market cap is losing right now, and the RSI is clearly bearishly diverging to me right now, there's still a chance for us to bounce and conform into here, right? So it's gonna be a very short video, and I would highly recommend that you guys be extremely patient and just wait. There's really not a lot of good plays right now to enter. Everything would just be risk or FOMO right now. But the way I see this, if I go from wick to wick, for example, okay? If I go from wick to wick, or even if I went from body to body, like that, right? What we see is a triangle forming in here. And because we see a triangle forming in here right now, we can assume that something is going to happen. Either a breakout up or a breakout down. Now let's talk about both scenarios. If the breakout down happens right here, then of course this is going to be the region where we can let trend support region. Yeah, I'm sorry for taking a lot of type there. I'm not looking at the keyboard right now. 
<laughs> so that's one possible region. Now, if we do break out of there, I'm going to be a, give a very, very conservative target, okay? Because I'm not really uh, an aggressive trader. I'm basically just going to go for this zone right here between 0.5 and 1152 and 1000 Satoshi between the 0.5 and 3.2 region. And that's really all the possible plays that I can see right now, guys. There's not really a whole lot of resistance in this area or support in this area. If we break down, yeah, it's going to go down hard, guys, okay? There's, it's going to be pretty much free fall almost. If we break up, then we'll most likely test always the 50 Fibon or the 0.5 Fibonacci level first, or the 3A2 level as well, maybe a dead cat bounce, who knows? So you guys have to make note of this triangle, okay? On a triangle, what a lot of people like to do is they'll play the breakout, right? On the breakout right here, they're just going to target, let's say, 0.5 Fibonacci level. You set a stop loss slightly below it here for, say, I don't know, something something reasonable. Let's go right here, actually. Stop loss maybe slightly underneath this bottom slope, the trend line support there for, like, say, a super small loss. Like, I don't know, 2%, 7% loss, we'll say, okay? 7% loss possibility. And now we're going to gain possibly 63% there, okay? 63% is quite a bit, actually. This is an 8 to 1 risk to reward ratio, right? And then if not, if that ends up failing, then you just want to go into a lower support region and wait for that, right? So but there's a lot of plays right now, and honestly, I think that anybody who enters right now is probably going to lose a little bit of money because it's all FOMA at this stage, right? What the best traders will do is they will wait very concisely and very patiently for an entry. This is what I always do as well. I wait for patiently for an entry or I'll buy into strength once I've confirmed a confirmation. A trend, that is. But right now, guys, there's absolutely no direction whatsoever. So is it worthwhile to go to a trade? No, it's unfortunately too late. You guys missed it. The best time would have been the 100 moving average. Or, or sorry, it's not the 100. It's the, I think, 55. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, this one's the 55 moving average. That's where it bounces off of. So that's it guys, these are the only possible plays right now. Up to 11.59 possibility if we bounce up. And then if we bounce down, you guys are going to see much, much lower regions around the 277 Satoshi level there. So I highly recommend that you guys don't FOMO, okay? You got to make sure that you get your entries properly. And you got to make sure that you confirmed an uptrend before something happens. So it's very likely that this line right here is actually just going to do this. So curve. Whoops, that's not it. It's just going to curve, something like that, right? And then, we'll, and then we'll figure it out. So right now, patience is a key. If you guys are invested in it right now, or, or sorry, the traders, if you want to start trading it, I don't really see many good opportunities, guys. The people that are holding long term, no doubt in my mind that we're eventually going to break out to a pretty higher high because of how clean the impulse wave up is, right? Right there. So these are my quick thoughts on Poet right now. I don't really have much more to add to that. If you enjoy these videos, please go upload it on Cement. Like, subscribe, share, donate to Luna's cryptocurrency piggy bank. On that, you guys have yourselves a great night. And I apologize that I couldn't really say much more about this coin. I didn't really want to do too detailed of an Elliott Wave analysis. Um, just because there's a pattern. This pattern is so clear. Until we get a little bit more data, I'll be able to do the rest on it. So have yourselves a great night, guys. And these are my quick thoughts on it. I don't have much more information. I'm not always going to have bullish or bearish news, guys. There's sometimes going to be neutral news, and that's the point of TA. It's just to always keep up to date with what you are covering. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight as well right now, and I will talk to you guys sometime down the road. See you.